So Jordan, this is the Zappi charger, but I think I, I want to explain to viewers right at the top, this is an un quite an unusual place to put it, it's basically yeah. in a garden, because I just thought people are going to see this and go, why is there a white thing in the, in the jungle? It's in the jungle, yeah. yeah. But this is just basically, it's on a post set here. It could be in your garage or on the side of your yeah. house or anywhere. It doesn't yeah. have to be, it doesn't no. have to be surrounded by foliage. <laughs> no. But it, it's just a charger for an electric car. You know, that's what it does, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's a, but it, it's a bit different. It's got a twist, yeah. Right. And uh, what's special about it is it's got two special modes. So it's got fast mode, so it can just charge like a like any standard EVSE, right. yeah. But what makes it special is the two modes, eco mode and eco plus mode. Right. So eco mode will um, use green energy from wind or solar right. to charge the car, as well as pulling from the mains if you need it to reach a certain level of right. charge. But eco plus will only use surplus power. So it's absolutely perfect if someone's got um, solar panels or a wind turbine right. and wants to put the energy straight to the car with free energy. Yeah. So, I mean, in this particular location, as, as it's fairly obvious, it's very windy. Yeah. They've got a wind turbine over the other side of the house. So that's sending electricity into their system yeah. through their house. Yeah. It goes into here. Yeah. So then how does the charger know to just use the power that, the, that is coming from their wind turbine? So a CT clamp goes around the meter tails and tells the Zappi the information, what's about to be exported to the grid. Right. Uh, and then it diverts the energy. So it literally monitors the export, diverts the energy. Right. And it varies. So it's the only... Um, only EVSC on the market to do that. So and, and the car can take that then. So the car isn't getting a constant supply like it would normally if you were no. plugged into the main. Depending what setting you've got it, and if you want it to charge, it will. But if you want it just green energy, right. it'll vary the power. So if uh, if there's no wind, it drops. It will pause the charge. And the same with solar. If you've got sun yeah. and there's a cloud, and it, it, yeah. that, the, the amount drops. So the idea is to leave it plugged in. Uh, you know, when you're not in a rush to charge, yeah. and you just want that free energy. Right. Uh, I often drive around in my Leaf with. 100% free charge from right. my solar panels and it's it's an amazing feeling yes. it's a nice it, feeling so can we see it actually if we plug in can we yeah, see yeah, it of course. actually yeah, feel free do you want to do, do the honors I, I can I, <laughs> I think I've done this before it's, it's very complicated <laughs> Oh, I see. So it's it waiting. Straight away. So, no, it's, oh my it's, goodness. It's five seconds. It needs 1.5 kilowatts. Right. For five seconds. Now it's going. Yeah. Oh my God. Wait a minute. So that is amazing. So right now you can see that 3.6 kilowatts are going directly into the car. That's free green energy right. from the wind turbine. Um, at the moment, we're importing a tiny, tiny amount, yeah, but there's yeah. no export. Point 0.1 or now 0.2 yeah. kilowatts. Yeah, very, very small amount. And then, so if the, for instance, now if the wind were to drop yeah. now on this, on the setting you've got this on. Yeah. It, it would it, pause. It would, it would essentially pause. It yeah. wouldn't charge the car. But right. if you had it in eco mode, it would um, it would carry on going to maintain right. the charge. Right. Whether you need, that, if you need it pulling from the grid, it will. Yeah. Um, or and it'll use green as well when right. it's available. But in eco plus, it's only using green and right. it will pause. Presumably, this technology has come out. You know, the cars were sort of designed and built with the idea that you plug it into the mains. Exactly. And yeah. But they do see they, it copes with that, oh, yeah. that fluctuating charge. Yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah. one thing I really didn't know. Meets that they all did the that. protocols. Right. Yeah. The car can handle it. The, the Zappi actually communicates with the car. So right. That's what, right. That's what, that's what makes it special. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of people with electric cars who've got solar panels. Yeah. And they all go, yes, my solar panels charge my car. Yes, yeah. they do, but the, it's a bit it's a bit sort of random, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You've got to go out and definitely plug in at yeah. that time, and then you still can be pulling from it. This just takes control of yeah. it and looks after it for you. Because that's the other thing that, that people who don't drive electric cars are often not aware of, which is the same for all cars, no matter yeah. what they are, is that 90% of the time they're not, you're not using them. Exactly. So you've got plenty of time to plug this in, even in the daytime. I mean, here, obviously, they can use yeah. their wind energy at night. Yeah, which exactly. Is That's probably amazing. a very good, yeah. good reason to do it. But I, I mean, mean, we've got one at work at the office because we've got solar panels at work and right. at home, so we're constantly free. Right. <laughs> it's, right. it's nice. So this, at the moment, then, will take all the energy that's coming from the wind turbine yeah and it, that goes into here but if they put on a kettle or the yeah. washing machine it'll in the change. house yeah it'll that, that'll take priority so that will take then that will take the power from the wind turbine yeah before it goes into the car yeah if you've got it in eco plus mode but if right. you've got it to where you want to set a percentage of, the, of, of a definite charge that you want to get yeah then obviously the, the zappy will take priority but it's right. just got that clever setting to be able to hold back if yes. you do want the priority in the house so right. It's got a lot of settings, a lot of clever functionality. Yeah. So you've really built this for, for using with solar panels rather than wind. Yeah, yeah. Because so, the wind is it's quite violent, the way the wind changes. Yeah, but it does work. It works, it right. works really well with the oh, wind. Good. And then are they in any way connected to the, to the internet? Or is that, that's not, they don't really need to be. They can be a standalone device. They can it? be a standalone device, but we are developing an app as well so right. that you'll be able to control it remotely, right. boost the charge, see what you've saved. I mean, all the data is logged into the Zappi anyway, so right. you can see um, exactly what you've saved 
from the day of install, right. which people love. Yes, yeah. yeah. But this was launched as a Kickstarter project, yeah, that sort yeah. of thing, was it? Yeah, yeah, crowdfunding right, campaign, and we raised 10,000 on that, right. um, with just a small community of just doing some tweets, not a lot of money, right. and um, we've managed to secure funding our own way to get it developed, right. and um, we're going to production this month for June early right. deliveries, right. So for early adopters, people that ah. are really passionate about it. So. Yeah. Anyone who's got solar panels and electric car can't see it. well, I don't want one. It's I mean, an absolute it's just, it's an no-brainer. Absolute, it, is a, it, a, is, yeah. it is a classic no-brainer, there's no doubt about it. That is fantastic. 3.5 kilowatts at the moment. That's I, and the trouble is, if I have one, I'll just be like this all day. <laughs> yeah, it's going. Well. That's why we need to get you the app. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone up to 3.7. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And so how low can how low can the car go? I mean, what's the minimum it can put in? Is there a sort of minimum um, amount? The Zappi varies from 6 amps to 32 amps charging. That's what it trickle feeds in right. between. So if you just leave it plugged in, you're not in a rush. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it really vary, it can vary that much, right. especially with wind. But also, I mean, interestingly with solar, you know, that, that's one of the, you know, when I see the graph of the day, yeah. and sometimes it's like, it's pretty pathetic. Well, yeah. it's always more than 6 amps. Exactly, you know, exactly. Even on a cloudy day in yeah. the winter, it's, it's putting out, you know, it's it's a 2.6 kilowatt peak yeah. unit, so it can six amps is nothing. I mean, exactly. It, so you, yeah, that would be fantastic to be able to use your solar panels in December that's, to charge the car. That's what it's is, all about. Yeah. We just want to self-consume energy. We don't want to be exporting no, it. No. Make use of it in the house. Yeah. And, you know, the technology does exist. Does exist, and there it is. And Have you got a kind of uh, a, a price for this at the moment. Is yeah, it? yeah. Right. I recommend a retail price. It's under five hundred pounds, so it's right. the same as a standard car charger, wow. but you get a lot more for. You do get a hell of a lot more for yeah. your money. Yeah. And all you need to do then, other than install this, is to is it, so it's a band that goes around your meter tails. Your meter tails. And right. it literally monitors the export. So right. yeah. that needs to be able to communicate with that. Yeah, That's and we've got a wireless version of the sensor coming out as well, right. so that to make the installs a little bit easier. Oh, at, the, at the moment, is this wired to that? This here? is wired to right. the CT clamp. Um, right. The CT clamp feeds the information across, but we're going to have a wireless version. Right. As far as you know, no one else has done this no, anywhere no, in the world because it no. just it was absolutely bloody. I mean, obvious people have thought it. about it, but you know, it takes quite a lot of research and yeah. development to get it to where it is. So um, I'm sure that someone else has thought of the idea, but we're the, right. I think well, we're the very first, in, especially in the UK. Because how many of you are there in the company? I mean, it's, I'm there's seven of us. We're small. Right. Yeah. yeah. In Lincolnshire. In Lincolnshire. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Grimsby last. In Grimsby. <laughs> yeah. It's great. So they do, some good things you, come they out They do, it. they put you yeah. put Grimsby on the map. Yeah, we will. Yeah, fantastic. 3.8, oh. <laughs>Zappy charger. This has only been fitted a couple of weeks ago. The basics of it are really simple. You've got solar panels on your roof, you've got an electric car, all the energy that the solar panels uh, is producing goes into your house. So if you've got your washing machine on or something like that, it'll run that. Any excess then goes out into the grid. That's what happens with solar panels. What this system does is it reads what you're sending out into the grid and it takes that and puts it into the car. So at the moment, the solar panels are producing 1.9 kilowatts. The house is using point six of a kilowatt so the remaining 1.4 kilowatts is going into the car and that varies all the time as jordan explained so it is a uh, it, it's a very simple to use system you can override it at any time so at the moment it would if i was charging the car from very low it's going to take a long time to charge it this i can change it to fast and that will immediately start taking electricity from the grid and charging the car at a much higher rate so now it's pulling 3.8 kilowatts into the car and it will take some of that from the grid so that's simple as anything, I, I could understand that. What happened when they came and put this in my house was a little bit of an added complexity, which is the Tesla Powerwall. And so we had to do some careful recalibration. They had to put a firmware update into the, into the system. It's been a really good learning experience for Zappi, and I'm really proud to have helped them. I didn't do anything. Uh, and so now it charges, it only uses excess power from the grid. It doesn't use the battery. I don't want to drain the battery into the car during the day because I like to have the battery to have a lot of energy in it for the evening, so I don't use electricity during peak times. And that's really what the Tesla Powerwall has done more than any other single thing, is I haven't used any electricity during peak, uh, peak generation times, peak time in the evening. It's always been, the house has always run off the battery. Then later at night, if you want to, you can override it 
you can just charge it on off-peak electricity like, like you do with any charger. So this is a sort of multi-use charger. It's just another step, and I think it's a really, really brilliant thing. Check out the, the website. They, they uh, were a Kickstarter-funded company. They're only a small group of people. Really clever electronics engineers. It's beautifully made. It's solid. I can guarantee that. The installation was very simple. I already had a charger here, so they didn't have to put any... That's why there's cobwebs and stuff on this. They didn't have to put that in new, but they rewired it. And that's the little wire, that one there, that goes to my uh, mains feed. So that's, that one is reading how much electricity is going out into the grid and how much electricity is coming in, and it cleverly sorts it out. That's really nice. So now it's 2.5, we're getting off the, the solar panels. The house is using 1.2 kilowatts because there's a washing machine on, and the car is getting 1.4. So it's, it's really nice. We're just using the excess. We're not taking anything out of the batteries, and we're not using anything from the, the mains. So zappy chargers, they're brilliant. Anyway, that's all. I've really enjoyed making this episode because it's one, it was so lovely to be up in Orkney and seeing one of these in the bushes, and two, it's now a sunny day, thank goodness. So we're actually getting some proper solar to show it. So please subscribe to Fully Charged. Please check out the Patreon link underneath this so we can make more shows for you. And as always, if you have been,